Hey, you guys, it's your favorite girl. Who else would it be other than me? I'm just saying, right? Miss me with it. The host and the owner of the Miss Me With It Talk radio show on the Miss Me With It Talk radio station. MMWI Network, MMWI Network Radio. And today we are talking the Michigan resident who has traveled around the whole world. Have you guys heard about her? If not, let's talk about it. Let's get into it, you guys. Detroit woman who visited every country on earth to share her story in gross point. Everyone wants to everyone wants to meet Jessica Nabongo. Apologies are if I mispronounced your names. Everyone wants to meet Jessica Nabongo. Why? Because the 40-year-old author and globe trotter is the first black woman to travel to every country on earth. Her book the Catch Me If You Can, One Woman's Journey to Every Country in the World was published by National Geographic in 2022 and was an instant bestseller. As she chooses to call Detroit home, shout out to you, girl. Nabongo is speaking about her travels Thursday at Gross Point Farms Brown, Brownell, Brownell Middle School Auditorium from 6 to 7 p.m. The appearance was initially set to be held at Gross Point Public Library, Ewald Branch, but an overwhelming de demand for tickets forced a change to a larger venue. Y'all know that I mean a lot of people really want to meet her and or know about her travels. I'm just saying, right? Miss me with it. Name one of the 50 most notable people in travel by travel. Named one of the most not one of the 50 most notable people in travel by travel and leisure in 2021. She has been featured in prominent media outlets such as BBC, CNN, The New York Times, Forbes, and others. In 2019, Condé Nast Traveler named Nabongo one of the 30 most powerful women in travel. I take so much pride in living in, e in Detroit, she told the free press during downtime at home. People are like, oh, you live in Detroit? I'm like, yeah, I don't always take the time to explain because look, I've been in every country in the world. I've lived in four countries outside the United States. I've lived in DC, New York, Detroit. I've done life well and all over the place and I still choose Detroit. To me, that says a lot about your city, you know, about the city, you know. Born in Detroit to Uganda parents, Nabongo was raised in Detroit with what she calls a very stereotypical American upbringing. We even literally, we even literally had a white picket fence. She recalled with a laugh, I did ballet, tap, played the piano, played the clarinet, softball, tennis, basketball, speed reading and pre-engineering classes and swimming classes. But vacations were always part of that. She began traveling internationally with her family at the age of four. The first country I visited was Canada, she said, but after that I went to the UK and to Uganda for the first time when I was six. My dad was a chemist. My mom retired as a registered nurse. My parents loved to travel and sometimes they did take us. Sometimes they went to the Bahamas with their friends and left us at home. But travel was so inherently a part of my childhood. Every summer we went somewhere even if it was a domestic road trip or camping in the United States or in Jamaica or Mexico. During the early eight days of social media circa 2009, Nabongo started a blog titled The Catch Me If You Can. She moved, to, she moved to and from Japan, then to England to complete her master's at London School of Economics, then to rural Benin in West Africa for six months. Then came a United Nations job that put her in Rome for three years. That role transitioned her remote work, so she traveled throughout South, Af South America while working. In 2014, she said, I moved back to the United States. I was working as a, at a consulting firm in D.C. I did that for a year, and I hated it, and I quit. And I never worked for anyone since then. I had always wanted to visit every country in the world since my early 20s. I thought I found... I'd finish by the time I was 40 or 50, but in 2017, I was in the country number 60 and decided that I wanted to finish visiting every country in the world by the time I was 35. That's a goal. That's a whole goal. 
As of 2024, Nabongo has visited 195 countries and 16 territories, many of them more than once, including Antarctica. She went to Antarctica. Okay, shout out, boo. Which she wants to see again because, get this, it wasn't cold enough for her liking. Shout out to you, Ms. Nabongo. Shout out to you for showing us women that it can be done, that we can do it, and it's possible. I'm just saying, miss me with it. Shout out to you. If you guys did not know about Ms. Nabongo, there you go. You have it. She has traveled to 195 countries, 19 different t territories, and she's a black woman. Shout out to her. I am your host, Miss Minetta Nelson, also known as Miss Mimi, the host and the owner of the Miss Me With It Talk radio show on the Miss Me With It Talk radio station. As I always tell you, stay tuned because we have way much more to go. This here is just the beginning. <laughs>